Have you been a victim of people's attacks? Maybe people just dislike you, and you have been faced with persecution for no reason. This video is for you. You may have been wondering why people attack you for no reason, which may have caused you to face challenges. Let us build a foundation. The first thing you should know is that your real enemy is not the people attacking you. Even if they do a lot of harmful things, they are not the real enemy. They are just puppets being used by the devil against you. If you fight the people, you cannot win because the devil will just use another person next time. It is time you realize that the troubles you are facing are not only physical, but also spiritual. The devil is sponsoring your troubles, so you need to face him squarely and resist him with the word of God. Why people attack you? The devil wants to use them against you. They may be attacking you because the devil wants to use them against you. When you are at the edge of your breakthrough or in a new face in your life, you may realize that people begin to attack you. This is because the devil is threatened by your breakthrough and wants to use whatever means possible to keep you from it. The devil is only manipulating them in order to be a hindrance to you. In this situation, the devil is sponsoring the attacks and only uses people for his purpose. After David was anointed as king by Samuel, he defeated Goliath and became one of the soldiers under Saul and also his son-in-law. Saul sought to take David's life, even though he was his son-in-law and best friend of his son. Saul chased David into the desert. He sought to attack him many times. But God saved David's life. The devil used Saul to attack David for many years. But David still fulfilled his destiny as king of Israel. No matter how the devil uses people to attack you, you will overcome in Jesus' name. They are jealous of you. Jealousy is a very dangerous feeling that completely changes people. It can make them do things they did not imagine they were capable of. People may attack you because they are jealous of you. The devil usually uses jealousy to manipulate people and make them attack you. That person may be attacking you simply because they are jealous of you. One other reason Saul was attacking David was that he was jealous of David. The people sang of David that he defeated 10,000 while Saul defeated 1,000. This sparked jealousy in Saul till he sought to take the life of David. They want to be better than you. People may attack you because they want to be better than you. When they feel that they are less than you, they may seek to attack you to have an opportunity to be better. This may be the case for colleagues or anyone you have something to compete about. For example, Cain and Abel made sacrifices to God, and God accepted the sacrifice of Abel. This upset Cain, and because he desired to have his sacrifice accepted, he attacked Abel and killed him. Therefore, another reason people attack you may be because they want to be better than you. They do not acknowledge their wrongs. Sometimes people may attack you simply because they are not willing to accept that they were wrong about something. Instead of admitting they made a mistake or that they were wrong about something, they could decide to believe that you were wrong instead and attack you. They make themselves feel good by placing all the blame on you. They use this to justify themselves and attack you. You may have met these types of people who are unwilling to acknowledge that they were wrong and would rather blame you for what they did wrong and attack you. Lastly, people may attack you simply because you are a believer. Jesus, before his death, said to his disciples that they should expect hatred from the world. Since the world hated him, it would hate his disciples also, because no disciple is greater than their master. 
The fact that you are a Christian can make you a prime target for attacks by people. These people may not have any valid reason, but will choose to dislike you because of your faith and would find ways to attack you for no other reason than your faith. Christians have suffered persecution even from the time of the early church. Years after, Christians still suffer persecution. People may be attacking you because of your faith. There are a host of other reasons why people may be attacking you. It may be because they do not like your character or any other reason specific to you. But here are some reasons which may be general. When you experience attacks from people, do not let them get to you. Do not take it to heart and do not let them hurt you because the devil usually sponsors such attacks to hinder your life. You may be in that season of persecution right now and you may be experiencing great pain, but rest on God to comfort your heart. Let him help your heart and let him heal you. Also, constantly remind yourself that these people attacking you are not your real enemy. The devil is only using them. I did not really understand why Jesus prayed concerning the people that crucified him, asking God to forgive them because they did not know what they were doing. Later, I understood that even though these people attacked him physically, the true enemy was the devil working behind the scenes to ensure his crucifixion. Still, he did not know that what he meant for evil would lead to the salvation of many souls. The people attacking you also do not know what you are doing, so decide not to respond to them and do not bother to resist the enemies. Instead, the Bible teaches us that the proper way to react to enemies is by showing them love and kindness. It is in doing this that we truly represent God on earth. Jesus said that if we only love those who love us, then we are not much different from every other person. But he commanded that we also love our enemies. This may be one of the most challenging commands, but it helps us represent Christ properly. Because when we love our enemies, we acknowledge that Christ loves them too and wants them to know him. No matter how much you dislike that person, remember, he is also God's creation. And God also loves him and will not want him to perish. The Bible says that if a man's ways please the Lord, he will even his enemies be at peace with him. God cannot make the person that wanted to destroy you love you and decide to help you. There is no heart that God cannot change. Therefore, those attacking you today and celebrating your downfall would acknowledge the goodness of God in your life in Jesus' name. Why not fight on your knees when people attack you instead of facing those people and fighting. We have learned that the true enemy is not the person attacking you, but the devil that is using that person. This is why you should fight the devil rather than the person. War against the devil spiritually, and your physical circumstances will change. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Resist the devil through the word of God and through prayers. If you are conscious in your inheritance in Christ, the devil would be no longer able to cheat you because every time he tries, you would remind him of the word of God. When you are attacked by people or greatly persecuted, remember that you are not alone. God is with you. The point of whatever attack you are facing is to isolate you, keep you from the presence of God, cause you to fall into depression, and shatter your trust in God. In that season, you need to guard your heart by the Word of God. Constantly remind yourself of what the Word of God says and let it sink into your heart that the Word of God is your truth. In this world, you will surely meet people that would attack you. Your response is important when they meet such people. But remember to respond to them in love and fight the real enemy. You will overcome such attacks. God bless you.